Hello there, and welcome to today's session, everyone. We're so delighted that you can join us as we talk about Ontario Extend, an open program to enhance digital fluency training for educators. Ontario Extend is a timely and critically relevant micro-credentialed professional learning program for which we have seen participation increase significantly since the onset of COVID-19, where educators have been navigating this new normal with grace, empathy, and courage, all against the backdrop of varying degrees of collective uncertainty. My name is Alyssa Bigelow, and I am an instructional design technologist. I'm also a program facilitator for the Ontario Extend program. Hi, and I'm Charlotte, and I am also another um, Ontario Extend facilitator. And as an educator, my pedagogical interests are focused on developing innovative tools to promote learning at the undergraduate level. I'd also like to mention another member of our facilitation team, Bert Slesser, um, who is not with us today. I would like to begin by honoring and acknowledging that the offices of eCampus Ontario are located on the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat people. I recognize and am grateful for the legacy of all past, present, and future generations of the first peoples of this land. Here's an overview of how we will be spending our time together during today's session. We'll begin by introducing the Ontario Extend program and discuss how the Extend program has been used to develop community engagement here in Ontario. We'll elaborate on how Ontario Extend has experimented with their delivery approaches to create more fruitful community engagement. And we'll review the results from the summer 2021 offering and how this has guided future iterations of our Ontario Extend program. If the Ontario Extend program has resonated with you, we'll highlight some opportunities to become an empowered educator over the fall semester. We will commence by introducing the Ontario Extend program, which is one of eCampus's Ontario's initiatives. So let's delve further into the program. The Extend program consists of six modules containing resources for educators focusing on merging technology and digital tools with course design. Once a learner successfully completes a module, they are awarded a digital badge. After the completion of all six badges, the participant receives the Empowered Educator micro-credential, recognizing their efforts and time. The modules are self-directed and designed to be self-paced, so educators have the flexibility to work at their own pace. We've had a diverse number of participants ranging from instructors, instructional designers, technologists, librarians, and counselors who are all interested in building their teaching and learning skills. Overall, our current program metrics include more than 1,000 participants, greater than 500 badges issued, and over 40 micro-credentials. So as previously mentioned, individuals who complete the Ontario Extend program receive the Empowered Educator micro-credential. This program is based on the model of the anatomy of a 21st century educator as described by Simon Bates' work from 2014. It's supported by six modules represented by the six hexagonal badges that you see on the slide. These modules are the teacher for learning, technologist, curator, collaborator, experimenter, and scholar. Each of these modules contribute to the digital fluency of educators and try to guide instructors in when deciding which digital tools to incorporate in their teaching practice. I'll now pass it over to Alyssa. Thanks, Charlotte. In late 2019, eCampus Ontario set out to better understand how Ontario Extend was being leveraged at our provincial post-secondary institutions since the program began. The Ontario Extend in Practice Research Report was published earlier last year in 2020 just prior to the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. This report was focused on finding out the ways in which Ontario Extend modules and resources are being used by post-secondary institutions in Ontario. This was accomplished through a survey distributed to all institutions and through follow-up interviews. Results indicated that 10 institutions reported the, the use of Ontario Extend materials for course curriculum, professional learning opportunities, 
and institutional teaching and learning recognition. Delivery modes varied and at times were customized through technology, such as through a learning management system, as was the case at three institutions. Institutions citing Ontario STEM materials as supplemental resources do so through newsletters and faculty onboarding initiatives that complement their existing educator programming and recognize one's involvement in professional development activities related to their teaching practice. Two of the greatest values in undertaking this study was being able to confirm that EXTEND is being customized to the local context of our institution, which is really great to see. And second, it allowed us to measure the market that has yet to be impacted by Ontario Extend and to strategize about growth expansion, or in other words, how to get our critically relevant program into the hands of educators. In order to attempt to reach the yet to be served institutions that surfaced in our impact report, the Extend team at eCampus Ontario partnered with and supported program delivery centralized through a single post-secondary teaching and learning center extend facilitator. These teaching and learning center facilitators positioned at the following colleges, Conestoga, Durham, Fanshawe, Georgian, Loyalist, and Nipissing University facilitated one module at a time over a two week period and provided opportunities for synchronous support to smaller localized cohorts who enrolled in this self-directed professional learning opportunity. At their local institutions, facilitators organized program recruitment and registration efforts, technologies needed to support the convening of these cohorts, and distributed participant surveys on behalf of eCampus Ontario. As you can see in the bar graph on the screen, that when facilitated cohorts of the technologist, curator, and teacher for learning modules were offered, this led to strong batching achievement rates when compared to the remaining free modules that were not offered as facilitated cohorts. The success of these experiments left eCampus Ontario questioning, what does our future growth and program expansion look like? Today, it looks a lot like these collaborative efforts whereby we're scaling the Extend program through a facilitation delivery model. Bert, Charlotte, and I are working with eCampus Ontario as dedicated Ontario Extend program facilitators who continue to offer these two-week facilitated community of practice experiences and help extend the program through 2021 and beyond. These offerings are modular in nature, so think short, bite-sized chunks of learning. They're flexible in times uh, that are offered during the day, evenings, and new lunch and learns. They're customizable, offering facilitation through a learning management system or other technologies. And they are open access, so the customizing is a lot easier than it could be. And they're frequent. So we're offering multiple times throughout the summer and the fall for you to engage with the Ontario Extend program. Another part of our role as facilitators for the program is to document the findings and the results of the facilitated sessions we're offering in 2021. We were intrigued with the uptake from 2020 and our early summer 2021 data, we were curious to see the results from previous years. Upon inputting the historical data, we produced the graph above. You'll notice it illustrates some significant peaks in micro certifications, which are the individual module badges and the Empowered Educator micro-credentials issued over the years. It's important to note that we found that each of these peaks has occurred to the program being offered in a facilitated way to some extent. Let's take a wee bit of a step back and have a look at how the program has evolved over the years. 2017 to 2018 was the first iteration of Ontario Extend modules. In 2019, Ontario Extend offered two massive open online course or MOOC style facilitated experiences, one in winter and one again in fall. And you'll see the numbers for those two uh, groups of participants is significantly high, 189 in the winter and 65 again in the fall. There were pockets of time where people were gaining the most badges. And then in 2020, there were six institutions created uh, the facilitated sessions and developed community of practices. So you'll see 117 participants um, 
received badges in that time period. This allowed uh, faculty and educators to make connections and create accountability for completing the modules. Uh, groups developed facilitator resource packages that can be delivered to other institutions. And in 2021, using supporting evidence from the Ontario Extend in Practice Research Report and the community experiences across the province, eCampus Ontario has embarked on a new journey to try to find out what environment creates the most fruitful engagement. Modeling the same type of facilitated experiences as in 2020, Ontario Extend is currently being offered in a smaller community approach, yet it is still being offered broadly throughout the province. What is the best way? Well, it all depends on the demand and the need. We shifted from solely offering the content uh, through the website to the D2L Brightspace Learning Management System environment. We carried on with a kickoff, check-in, and debrief synchronous sessions over a two-week period that people are open to attend whenever they are able. The learning management system enabled us to use discussion boards, and quickly connect with um, our program participants, the content. It enabled them to connect with us, uh, as well as additional resources and materials. This final look at the graph highlights the peaks in issuing of the Empowered Educator micro-credential, which is issued when participants complete all six of the Ontario Extend modules. These spikes are largely in alignment with the peaks in the micro-certifications around the facilitated experiences. And I'm going to continue to highlight some of our signature program achievements from early 2020 to date here in, in earlier 2021. Again, we see from the data found on the table on the screen that due to both a facilitated delivery approach and stemming from the need for relevant digital fluency training in these uncertain times, that participants, badges, and interest in the program increased from the previous year. It's worth noting that although we issued less micro-credentials year over year, you can see the drop there, uh, that, is, that it still represents 11 educators who are willing to, amidst a year of so much change, still complete the professional learning program. You can learn more about these educators and their extend journeys as we are currently celebrating their efforts through an empowered educator recognition campaign through Twitter and LinkedIn. So we were interested in our learners' experiences from the summer offering. Over the summer, participants from the province had the opportunity to join a learning community by enrolling in a learning management system or completing the EXTEND modules on their own. We tracked the number of participants in the learning management system and we were encouraged by the results. We found that overall enrollment numbers increased by 90% since the beginning of the semester. So here's a summary of our micro-credential badges and the distribution across the type of sessions the learner participated in. As a quick reminder, in order to receive the Empowered Educator micro-credential, you need to complete all six modules. So despite having the option to review the module material in a self-directed, self-paced learning journey, the majority of successful participants joined the community-based learning. Currently, we observed a relationship between increased synchronous participation and numbers of empowered micro-credentials awarded. Where those who participated joined the learning management system a synchronous option, contributing to discussion boards versus those in the synchronous sessions, which participated in the facilitated group sessions in addition to discussion boards. Due to the positive responses, we are continuing the facilitated cohorts during the fall semester, providing learners the option to join a community of practice. We have kicked off the flexible fall sessions designed to fit the learner's schedules. So this includes the evening sessions, hands-on lunch and learns, and Saturday extenders. So the evening sessions offer learners the opportunity to participate in synchronous facilitated learning sessions over two weeks to achieve the Empowered Educator Badge. While during our lunch and learns, we have short bursts of learning focused on completing a couple of activities from the module of the week. And attempts to accommodate different schedules, we are also continuing our Saturday extenders, 
which are crash course offerings, where together with facilitators and their peers, the goal is to focus on the particular module. Has our program resonated with you today? Are you working on behalf of a teaching and learning center and are interested in customizing this program content for educators at your institution, or perhaps chatting about partner endorsement? Or did we pique your interest and you want to learn more about the opportunity to join one of our upcoming facilitated cohorts that we spoke about? Please reach out to us so we can start a conversation. We're excited to extend the invitation to you all to join this EXTEND journey over the next few weeks. Ontario EXTEND already has a solid educator following, a professional learning program that is again self-paced, self-directed, has collaborative aspects, and people already are engaged in the programming. Join a network of like-minded colleagues at your local institution, but you can also join with people from across the province in pursuit of your digital fluency for your teaching practice. So on behalf of myself and Charlotte uh, and Bert from the Ontario Extend team, we thank you very much for your time today.